Hello and welcome back. With Diwali just around the corner, it's time to add some sparkle and festive magic to our homes. Today, I'm going to show you simple yet stunning ways to decorate your living room for the festival of lights. To start with, picking a color theme for any decor is important since it contributes to the overall experience by creating a visually pleasing and meaningful ambience. Bright colors give Diwali decor an elegant, vivid and sophisticated look, which is why I chose pink, white and golden mix this year for our living room. One tip which I would like to share is, while choosing your color theme, think about how you want the space to feel. Pink can be paired with gold, white or silver accents to give it an elegant and festive look without being overpowering. In my instance, the contrast between the teal sofa and the pink decor instantly added vibrancy and energy to the room, making both the colors stand out beautifully. I will be also adding some festive silk cushion covers and festive wear dupattas to add more glamour to the room. Now, before we get started with the decor, here is a quick tip to make your Diwali decorations hassle free. I always keep command hooks and blue tack handy for hanging decor without damaging the walls. They are perfect for temporary setups like Diwali. Command hooks are great for hanging string lights, garlands or even heavier items like wall hangings. They stick easily and remove without leaving any marks. I use blue tack for smaller decorations like attaching diyas or florin torrents, especially when I need the flexibility to adjust their position. It's a simple and handy trick if you want to avoid drilling holes. I started by highlighting one of my favorite pieces of decor, this beautiful painting. To make it even more festive and Diwali ready, I'm going to hang these gorgeous lotus bud white blossom garlands along the sides. I have shared my recent festive decor finds from Amazon in one of my earlier videos. I will add the link in the description box, do check it out. These lotus bud garlands have a lovely white blossom design that feels fresh and traditional at the same time. The white against the teal and pink in the room will create a striking contrast while still maintaining that subtle festive glow. This is a simple way to elevate your space for Diwali. The lotus themed decor not only symbolizes purity and renewal, but there are also thousands of options available on Amazon. Do check out the link of all these products in my Amazon storefront account. I'm adding the details in the description box for you. Now that we have added the beautiful lotus bud garlands, it's time to bring some bright festive energy to the seating area. One of the easiest ways to do this is by adding some festive cushions to the sofa. These cushions will add both comfort and a pop of color, making the space look vibrant for Diwali. I have picked out these gorgeous silk cushions in different shades of pink and magenta with gold detailing and embroidery for the sofa. The silk fabric adds a festive, luxurious feel while the bright colors bring a fresh burst of energy to the room. To make the space feel more dynamic, I'm mixing cushion sizes and textures. I love how the larger plain cushion creates a base while the smaller embroidered ones add the festive flair. For the center table, I'm using this vibrant silk dupatta with beautiful pink and orange contrast. You don't always need a fancy table runner, using a dupatta or sari can give the table an ethnic festive vibe as well. 
Plus, it's a great way to incorporate something personal into your decor. To complement the table runner, I'm adding a few traditional elements, a decorative tray, some golden lotus tea light candle holders, and a small flower arrangement. The silk fabric underneath creates the perfect backdrop for these pieces, making them stand out even more. To add a bit of more color and vibrancy to the center table, I'm using these gorgeous blue and green lotus-shaped wooden rangoli cutouts. They not only bring in a pop of fresh colors, but also added a beautiful festive touch to the overall decor. I may replace these with fresh flowers on the day of Diwali. To complete the look and bring everything together, fresh flowers like marigold and roses are must in your Diwali decor. They not only bring a natural, vibrant beauty, but also fill the space with a lovely fragrance, which is perfect for creating that festive atmosphere. The last spot I have left to decorate in the room is this window space. I have got these gorgeous handmade pink lotus wall and door hangings, which I am placing on either side of the window to frame it beautifully. Next, I will add some Dia string lights. I am hanging the lights across the top of the window, letting them drape slightly to create a soft cascading effect. The warm flickering light will add the final festive touch to the room, making it feel cozy and inviting. These little Dias give off a soft warm glow that will look magical when the lights are dimmed, perfect for creating that cozy Diwali atmosphere. Now, for the final touch to my Diwali decor, I am adding these gorgeous lotus hangings to the window pane. To complement the window decor, I am creating a simple yet gorgeous centerpiece on this jute carpet. The natural texture of the jute brings a grounded, earthy feel and it's the perfect base for layering some festive elements. This year, I decided to skip the tea light candles and go with these beautiful ready-made key terracotta diyas for the centerpiece. They add an authentic traditional touch to the decor and give off a warm natural glow that's perfect for Diwali. Do remember to place them on a fireproof dish to avoid any potential fire hazards. I'm placing this copper dhup dani on the opposite side of the centerpiece to balance the look. The warm copper tone complements the traditional elements while the incense will add a soft calming aroma to the room. Next I added this beautiful brass urli filled with water and floating candles at the center of the jute carpet. The combination of earthy jute with the brightness of flowers and the soft glow of the candles create a serene yet festive look. It's simple but incredibly effective in setting the mood for Diwali. The final window and floor display truly brings the room together. The lotus hangings add elegance and light to the window, while the jute carpet and the centerpiece give the room a cozy festive charm. I hope this inspires you to create your own unique Diwali decor. Remember, it's the thoughtful details like this, natural textures, vibrant colors and warm lighting that make your Diwali decor feel complete and welcoming. Wishing you all a bright and beautiful Diwali filled with light, happiness and peace. 
I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Do like, comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back very soon with another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. See you next time. Happy Diwali. Mm -hmm.